in from Frozen Girl Adventures. This is Florida Girl, and it is 30-something degrees in Florida in the morning, which is a big deal to us Floridians. And it's time to feed the girls. Well, they're not girls. But if we keep telling them that they are girls, they believe in themselves, you never know. Good morning, girls. Well, boys and girls. How would you like some lettuce this morning? Move over. Look at these guys. All right, so something that these guys love, I was gonna say like, but love, is lettuce. So here they are. Yeah, I got your lettuce. I got your lettuce. You want this lettuce? You want this lettuce? No, I'm gonna give you lettuce. Here you go. Come on, everybody. Yesterday, one of them bit me quite hard, so I'm going to do this with a gloved hand today in hopes that maybe I don't get bit again. This is just some romaine lettuce. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't know chickens were that into lettuce. As you can see when you look out over the ground, they've really done a good job of taking the grass and just bringing it right down to a, well, level or mode looking state. So if these guys are still with us in the spring when the grass starts to grow, I'm real interested in seeing what they'll do in other places. My idea is maybe move them around a little bit and let them get out into some different areas. It all depends. They got a pretty nice chicken yard here. This is about 7,000 square feet of a former dog run. Hi, guys! <laughs> I just think that's so cool. Well, we learned right away that the idea of putting plants, you might see two planters over there, inside the chicken coop didn't work. The next idea that was a big fail for us was putting the compost bin inside the chicken coop. We thought we'd put it in here to keep it away from the dogs. Who knew these guys would be the problem? But it was actually kind of cool because they got to discover all sorts of worms and stuff that had started to develop at the bottom of the bin. They really enjoy going through all the guinea pig hay when I bring out the dirty guinea pig hay, so I don't know, it gives them something to do. There you go, guys. So we're just learning about these guys. We've pretty much discovered we got them um, the last week of August. They were little bitty handheld day old chicks. We raised them and they went through Hurricane Irma with us and everything. But what we've discovered is that's our female. Right there. And we know she's the female because her comb is pink. It's shorter. Her little dangly danglies aren't as long and her feathers are not as shiny. She's also the first one to want food. She is really, really into her food. So what we have left here is a herd of non-egg laying roosters. They're beautiful little roosters, but what I've decided we're gonna do is teach them how to lay eggs. No, I'm just kidding. Stop that, you. We're going to have to find the rooster's new homes pretty soon because it's not going to be too long that the three of them are going to realize that they love her. And there's only one her. So so we've already got a couple ads out for some local, uh, local areas, farms and whatnot. Maybe, just maybe, you guys will have a new home and we'll get to raise a whole new group of chickens. Well, as always, this has been Feeding the Chickens here on Florida Girl. We're just kind of enjoying these guys walking around. They are fun to watch. They've all got their own little chicken personalities, and they're rather smart. Hit that subscribe button if you like what we do here. 